Welcome to this training video on protecting children's privacy when using generative artificial intelligence or generative AI in educational settings. AI can be a powerful tool to help streamline tasks and generate innovative learning materials. However, it's essential to understand how to use AI responsibly and effectively. In this video, we'll guide you through key considerations to keep in mind when integrating AI into your educational practices. Using AI isn't always necessary. If you're about to use AI, remember these three words, need, read, and proceed. Before we delve into these steps, it's important to understand that not all AI tools are created equal. There are significant differences between open and closed AI tools, especially regarding data protection. Throughout this video, we'll be using the term open AI tools. It's important not to confuse this with open AI, a company that researches artificial intelligence and develops both open and closed AI tools. Open generative AI tools are usually accessible by anyone. They may store, share, or learn from the information entered into them, including personal or sensitive information. Therefore, you should avoid including any identifiable information in the data you enter into OpenAI tools to protect personal data. On the other hand, closed generative AI tools are generally more secure as external parties cannot access the data you input. This makes them a safer option for handling personal data. It's not always obvious whether a generative AI tool is open or closed. Check with your school's data protection officer or IT lead to find whether your school has a preferred AI tool available for you to use safely. But what exactly do we mean by personal data? Personal data refers to any information that can identify an individual, either directly or indirectly. In a school setting, this could include details like a student's name, contact information, behavior records, assessment results, or even staff recruitment information, and more. There's also special category data, which is considered more sensitive and requires additional protection. This includes information about a person's racial or ethnic origin, political opinions, religious or philosophical beliefs, health information, or any data related to safeguarding matters. You should note that this list is not exhaustive. Now let's move on to the key steps to consider when using AI. Need, read, proceed. First, ask yourself, do you need to use AI? You should consider if artificial intelligence will improve the outcome you're trying to achieve, as you may find that traditional methods or processes could be more accurate or efficient. Next, have you taken the time to read your school's data protection policies? There may be a specific AI policy, or AI could be addressed within safeguarding, online safety, or data protection policies. Your school might even have approved AI tools that you can use safely. Remember, some AI systems learn from the data you upload, so it's vital to ensure you're not inputting any personal or sensitive information. Finally, review results and proceed with care. Always verify outputs from AI tools before relying on them. Fact check for accuracy, relevance and ethical compliance. Remember, AI is a tool to aid and not replace your professional judgment. Enhance your teaching with AI, but always need. Read and proceed. By following these steps, you can ensure the safe and effective use of AI in your classroom. If you have accidentally input any personal data, it may be a data breach, and you should inform your data protection officer or head teacher to escalate it. Search data protection in schools on gov.uk for more data protection guidance and information.